All right, if you are coming to a Red Sox game this weekend at Fenway, don't forget to bring a pair of new white socks for the 13th annual Socks for Socks at Fenway Park. Each new pair of socks will go to a Boston Healthcare for the homeless patient to help keep their feet clean and dry. Look for the Socks for Socks volunteers just inside any gate when the Red Sox host the Mariners this weekend. As we get uh, ready for that, we're here to talk about it on Foundation Friday as we do. Becca Salwaster, Executive Director of the Red Sox Foundation is with us. And uh, right now we are joined, uh, you brought some people with you. Yes, I, I have brought Anna with me, who, who is a Red Sox scholar. She was just selected last year. And I have Amy Kingman here with us, who is the Executive Director of the Letters Foundation. Hi. The, the Learning by Giving Foundation. Both. 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 There you Both. go. <laughs> All of it. Uh, this this event, and I was saying to some of the volunteers before, it, it's such a, a direct message. Yes. Uh, homeless people need clean socks. You can bring socks to the game. They will get in the hands of the people who need them. It has really resonated with fans. I get asked every year, when's the sock weekend? Yeah. I want to bring socks to the game. It's really become a great success. Yeah, no, Socks for Socks is amazing, and that's happening throughout the whole weekend. And this weekend, we're also celebrating the Red Sox Scholars yep. uh, program. So I know Aunt Anna here um, is uh, the new class that we've just inducted. And so um, in partnership with the Letter Letters Foundation and the Learning by Giving Foundation with Amy, uh, we've been really able to support over 288 Red Sox Scholars over the the last 11 years or so um, so it's just so exciting okay and I was gonna transition yeah, to that okay, but you jumped for it. I just wanted to tag on and mention the socks real quick uh, but the scholars obviously has become such a, again you talk about a simple message we find deserving scholars and give them a chance to succeed what does it mean to be a part of that connection it means absolutely everything. So both the Letters Foundation and Learning by Giving were, are funded by Doris Buffett. And Doris has been a lifelong advocate of both giving where you live, she lives here in Boston, and also in investing in young people at this critical age in their life. So in 2016, she was blessed enough to be a part of the Scholars Interview Day. And you're supposed to narrow the cohort from 20 to 10. And it's an incredibly challenging day. And she could not, could not, uh, narrow that group and so she funded two additional Sunshine Scholars in perpetuity. It's amazing and it just shows how powerful it is. Anna, you were selected in 2017. Yeah. What has the Red Sox Scholars meant to you? Well, I believe this like it's been an extreme lucky opportunity for me. I mean, they're like preparing you for everything, for the future. They organize events like Career Day, which is definitely helping you in the future, get an idea where you want to be. And there's a track record of success now. We see the scholars coming back. How yes. gratifying is it to see that this is working? I mean, to see things come full circle like that is just amazing. So um, we actually have a Red Sox scholar uh, as an employee here at the Red Sox Foundation, which is incredible. And we'll have a fellow next year. And so to be able to continue that pipeline after they graduate college and to provide a work opportunity is just exactly what we want to do. So hopefully one day Anna <laughs> will be employed by the Red Sox yeah. Foundation. I know you're going on to Fenway High School yes. next year. So very exciting. Yeah. The very very exciting and just real quickly again the fact that you're watching this happen and you'll be able to put your fingerprints on this a little how rewarding is that it's incredible to watch the way that the young people use this investment from letters foundation and learning by giving and doris buffett to do so many amazing things we have a former scholars intern here um, at the foundation with us and it's just incredible to watch the way that they do so much with just this one opportunity and they're really they're the all-stars no, that's great. Congratulations Thank you. again from last year. Sunday is the ceremony. Sunday is the ceremony, and all proceeds from the 50-50 raffle on Sunday will benefit the Red Sox Scholars Program. So please go online, purchase your tickets. Got to be in Massachusetts, got to be over 18, but all proceeds will benefit the Red Sox Scholars Program on Sunday. RedSox.com slash 50-50. There we go. We got it down. Didn't even have to look at that one. <laughs> Thank you all for coming by. Enjoy the weekend, and great to see you. Congratulations. Thank you. All right, we'll take a break, come back with more. Alex Corr going to join us in a couple of moments to talk about the state of the Red Sox as the Sox open up a series against the Seattle Mariners on a gorgeous night here at Fenway.